Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your August 2023 general reading for the sign of Gemini. What we will do here, we will divide the reading into sections, so it's a bit easier to understand, I suppose. And the sections or the areas will be as follows. First, we will look at the overall energy for the sign of Gemini for the month of August 2023, before we then look at your emotional core, whether or not there's love coming in or healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. Before we do any of this, I want to introduce you to this month's guest. Um, this is my friend Claire Corbett. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford, and I leave her um, contact details um, and, and any information, uh, or at least there's a link to the Facebook page, to be fair, <laughs> in the description box below. Now remember, before we start here, this is August 2023. This is the month where we have two supermoons. There's four supermoons in 2023 in a row, one in July, two in August, one in September, um, which means we're way more emotional. Things need to be looked at and can be looked at way more in depth. So please, do yourself a favor and watch the um, the full moon reading for the month of August because a super moon means that the moon is closer to Earth, so it looks larger, right? And the closer the, the, the moon is to Earth, because the moon governs our emotions, the more emotional we are. And obviously, um, there's a reading about how you can go about it and what you can take from it, all that kind of stuff, on this very channel. So don't be silly and not watch it, right? <laughs> so with that said, without further ado, Let's look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of the twin, which is Gemini. Okay, so Gemini for August, we are looking at, ask yourself a question, is there a new direction you're wanting to take? Um, because we're getting new direction coming through, we're getting set your heights, um, your sights higher and be pure really go in, go in deep, figure it out what it is that you're wanting to move a direction in, whether this is career or um, relationships, there's, there's something coming in. Um, so be open to it, connect um, with your higher self and um, heart-based. I feel it's a lot of heart-based going into your heart to, to, to ignite what it is that needs changing. Um, but yeah, you can do more than you think well, thank you so much. And it is interesting because, as often, you know, we, we, are, we, we are separating the sections here, but life is in flow. So this is sort of, um, it, my, my, my part here follows on 100% from this. Because the, when it comes to your emotional core, what the guides are saying to you is, the reason why things are not working so well, um, potentially, <laughs> is because you're by default the sign of the twin. And Gemini needs to be, wants to be appreciated so that you know you're held and you're safe and there's harmony in your relationship. It's actually a, quite a nice trait. It's just very difficult sometimes to manifest that. And all the guys are saying to you is this month is be you. Because when it comes to the energies, uh, and I use the astrology cards, you got Gemini. Guess who that is, baby? That's you. So all you need to do is be yourself. That's not too difficult, or shouldn't be, right? So you understand that. So so what you what you have to watch therefore is, should you be in a relationship? How much do you have to tweak your personality to make this work? How much do you please a partner by holding back or with your opinions, that sort of stuff, and then realize that that is not how a partnership is supposed. To work now should you not be in a relationship and again it sounds more negative than than I was trying to make it sound I can't help it I have this accent <laughs> but you understand that what you have to do is is to to be equal in a relationship same approach when it comes to manifesting a relationship should you uh, should you be in the process of manifesting it has to be equal it has there has to be equality that's the most important thing at this point in time for your love life and uh, on your Gemini card here, it says cross-pollinate. And cross-pollination obviously means that, you know, you bring your knowledge, your wisdom 
to the relationship, right? So therefore it benefits whoever the other partner is or party is for that matter. So you are valuable, just make sure that whoever you are with or want to be with sees that. Now the outgoing card here or outgoing energy is the card of Mars and motion. Now we are in the month of, Ju of, of, of August, so we're, we're heading towards um, Virgo on the 23rd, but we are in Leo's energy, which is the fire energy, Mars is um, a very hot planet so, so the energy fits the time you're in and all you need to do is to be determined what doesn't work if you sit there and hope that the knight in shiny armor will come in to sort of rescue you it doesn't really work also it's quite warm imagine a guy having to walk there with my with his armor is probably half dead by the time he reaches you right so the point here is you can't wait this month you have to be or ought to be proactive and it's, there's nothing wrong with being proactive, right? Um, and it's, a, it's quite a skill to learn to say to someone, I got my eyes on you, or whatever you say, right? <laughs> um, you know, because rejection is part of life. Someone says, uh, no, thank you, right? Um, that's part of life. But it is better for you to say, I feel there's something between us, you know, shall we explore this a little? Good phrase. To make a mental note, but yeah, that's yeah. the concept. So, what doesn't work for you is to sort of sit there and wonder why things aren't happening, right? You will make them work, but it has to do with a bit of self esteem. Once you actually, well, confront someone almost by saying, you know, I quite, I quite like you here, right? These days it's easier with just text. <laughs> but the point here is, um, you will notice that when you actually speak up, speak out, say what you feel, and talk about how you're feeling, it actually empowers you, which is quite important um, for Gemini. All right, with that said, let's look at the opportunities for the month of August 2023. You're watching Thomas Tower reading with myself, Thomas Yannick. My guest is Claire Corbett. She runs the Not a Tree Holistic Therapy Center, as I said. And the um, uh, contact details are in the description box. I also want to urge you to watch the full moon reading this month because we have two super moons two massive moons which are which make you even more emotional uh, in the month of august so it would be really stupid right not silly stupid not to watch this because there's so much that is so different this time around um and you would do well you know figuring out what that is and how you can go about it that's why we're recording these videos just for you in any case, let's look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023 for the sign of Gemini. Okay, um, it's quite mad actually, Thomas, because um, these are linking quite with what you yeah. were saying. Um, being mindful and it says group thinking here, but it's very much uh, speak your truth, speak out, you know, um, find somebody that you can talk to, whether it's in relationships or friendships. Um, uh, about what's really going on um, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. Um, and uh, it's quite funny because new love cards come up. Oh, um, perfect. Along with stranger and curiosity. Okay, awesome. so, yep. which, you know, um, I feel that the new love, if you're in um, already in a relationship, it's finding and re-sparking the relationships. And, you know, uh, again, we can get lost in you know, the every day of what we're doing and our relationships can go more and it's like, well, we need to bring that back together and, you know, spark that new love within that um, and bring in the curiosity of things to, to reignite a love that you're already in or, as Thomas said, get those opportunities, seek those opportunities and speak your truth, you know. Um, but uh, we also got um, deep quiet, so meditation and stillness, so again, uh, be mindful on what it is that you're saying and as long as it's coming from the heart um, and be mindful in that way rather than anger or fear or frustration um, all everything that you say will be said in the right way yeah thank, thank you, you so much and remember I think the next phrase is copyrighted but do all this because you're worth it Absolutely. see you all next month bye bye <laughs>